So let us discuss about some standard cases from uh, polar moment of inertia, right? So here, first I am starting with the circle. So if there is a circle in the sense a planar circle, okay, so this and uh, xx and yy is in the plane and xz is perpendicular to the plane. If I want the area which we already know pi by 4d, sorry, very sorry, this is pi by 4d square, okay, so pi by 4d square. And um, Ixx and Iyy, that is moment of inertia about Xx and Yy axis is both will be same since this point is also present at the same distance from like you could see that this is exactly symmetric about x axis and y axis both uh, the circle is completely symmetric about x axis and y axis so Xx and Iyy both will be same we can derive this but I am not going to derive it it is unnecessary for us okay. So now J that is polar moment of inertia by using perpendicular axis theorem I can write Ixx plus Iyy. So that is 2 times of Ixx which is nothing but pi by 32 into d power 4. So that is Ixx and Iyy will be same. So directly if I add it 2 times of Ixx that is pi by 32 d power 4 because it is pi by 64 right. So 2 times of pi by 64 is pi by 32. Now next is hollow cylinder. So inner diameter of hollow cylinder is d, outer diameter is capital D. And I am just taking ratio of small d by capital D um, as k. Okay. And area, if I want to find this area, if I want to find this area, what I need to do? I need to find total area of the circle. So total area of the circle is nothing but pi by 4 d square minus I need to subtract this empty area right. So minus pi by 4 d square. So that is what happening here. I taken pi by 4 commonly. After taking pi by 4 commonly, I am taking d square also commonly outside. If I take d square commonly outside, it will become d square by d square, small d by small d, small d by capital D. So small d by capital D is nothing but k. So I am replacing it with k. Okay. Next ixx and iyy again it is same because it is both of them are symmetric right so um, that will be equal to pi by 64 d power 4 minus d power 4 so if you remember this it's almost similar to that okay capital d power 4 minus small d power 4 i can take capital d power 4 commonly outside so this small d by capital d will be k okay so in place of k i can substitute k uh, in place of d small d by capital d i can substitute k now j j is nothing but i z z Okay, so which is polar moment of inertia, moment of inertia perpendicular to this. That is summation of uh, both moment of inertia about xx axis and yy axis, and uh, that is two times of ixx because both ixx and iyy are same. So that will give me pi by 32 d power 4 into 1 minus k power 4. Okay, so these standard cases you need to remember. We will be discussing it further. What are the different other standard cases which is needed for us? Okay, next let me discuss about square. Okay. So if I take a square cross section okay, of uh, sides A, okay, I know that area of square is A into A that is A square. If I want, if I take this is xx and this is y, y, then moment of inertia about xx axis and yy axis is nothing but uh, A power 4 by 12 a power 4 by 12 and uh, this is the centroid and if I want to find i z z that is nothing but j which is equal to i x x plus i y y so that is a power 4 plus a power 4 that is nothing but 2 times of a power 4 by 12 so that is a power 4 by 6 okay now next let me take a rectangle okay so rectangle with uh, length be b and length this uh, let this be d okay let me take this axis is x let me take this axis is y and perpendicular to this is z okay so if i find moment of inertia about x x axis okay there is an easy way to remember because most of them will remember the formula but they won't remember uh, which one should have cube okay so it's very easy way to remember remember one thing both i x x okay i y y should have denominator 12 okay, in case of rectangle both should have denominator 12 and what should be there in the numerator numerator in numerator it should be b and d okay it should have b and d but one term will be having cube that is either b cube or d, uh, either d cube or b cube and another term will be having power 1 which term should be power 1 which term should be cube that is what we need to understand listen carefully see i x x x x axis this is x x axis and d okay d is the distance which is 
perpendicular to xx axis so distance which is perpendicular to xx axis should be taken in cube okay and the distance which is perpendicular to yy axis okay which is yy axis if i am finding it for yy okay if i am finding it for yy distance which is perpendicular to yy axis should be taken in cube here and the remaining should be here it is b here it is d see you remember one thing it should have a power 4 because all moment of inertia will have power 4 because general formula is a k square area unit is meter square k unit is meter square so unit of moment of inertia is meter power 4 area moment of inertia will be meter power 4 okay so and how to find the polar moment of inertia in this case j will be equal to i x x plus i y y that is i z z that is j that will be equal to b d cube plus uh, d b cube right so i will write it here so b d cube by 12 plus d b cube by 12 so remember when i need to take cube okay so the side which is perpendicular to the axis for which i need to find moment of inertia that side should be taken in cube similarly for y y b is perpendicular to y y so that should be taken in cube okay so that ends rectangle i forgot to mention the area what is the area for rectangle b into d okay now so this is our third square this is fourth rectangle next is triangle okay so next i have triangle so that is case 5 okay so if i take a triangular member like this okay so centroid of triangle will be lying at a distance h by 3 okay so this is x x okay and this will be y y okay so y y will be exactly passing through the center like it will be passing through vertex okay this is our centroid so x x and y y and uh, that's what this is h by 3 right so height i am taking it as h and this base i am taking it as b okay so area we already know the basic formula half into base into height okay so basic formula for a triangle next if i want to find i x x okay if i want to find i x x that is this axis that will be equal to let me write it with this color itself b h q by 36 similarly cube okay cube should be taken in the distance which is perpendicular to the axis but in the denominator it is 36 i y y will be equal to cube should be taken in the distance which is perpendicular so b cube so h b cube but denominator is 48 so this you need to remember 36 and 48 okay so i x x is this axis i y y is this axis and uh, the logic is same the cube should be taken in the axis which is perpendicular the length which is perpendicular to the axis okay and if i want to find j that is i z z that will be equal to i x x plus i y y by using perpendicular axis theorem that will be equal to similarly b h q by 36 plus h b q by 48 next there is one more term or one more thing which we need to understand here why you will understand in the next standard case i will you will understand it in the next standard case i will say why it is okay so listen what will be moment of inertia about this base okay what will be the moment of inertia about base this axis that is this base axis you could see it is parallel to xx axis and it is present at a distance h by 3 okay we know parallel axis theorem so h of uh, like moment of inertia of uh, any h axis will be equal to ig plus e into h square in this case i am finding moment of inertia about base so moment of inertia about base is equal to moment of inertia about centroidal axis this axis xx axis moment of inertia about centroidal axis in this case it is ixx let me write it ixx plus area into h here is h by 3 whole square so that will be equal to what i x x is what i x x is b h q by 36 right so it is b h q by 36 plus area is b h by 2 okay b h by 2 into h square by 3 square which is 9 okay here 
BH cube by 36, here BH cube by 18. If you take LCM, LCM will be 36, 1 BH cube plus 2 BH cube, 3 BH cube by 36. What is 3 BH cube by 36? It is BH cube by 12. Simple LCM only, you can do it. It's not a very uh, big calculation. So, base is BH cube by 12. So, I am using parallaxis theorem for determining that. Okay. So, now just keep this formula in mind. Okay. I am finding moment of inertia about base of a triangle. Um, like for that base of the triangle is BH cube by 12. Why it is necessary? I will say in the uh, next standard case. Right, listen, next is, uh, you can consider this as a square which is inverted, okay. So, instead of keeping square in a normal manner, I am inverting it. If I want to find moment of inertia about this xx and yy axis, okay, xx and yy axis, what you need to do? Listen carefully. I said that equation is very important, right, y. This part, this part separately a triangle okay and this but bottom part is also separately a triangle so if i want to find moment of inertia of this about x x axis okay that is i x x in this case a square inverted square that will be equal to i will take this one as a triangle and this one as a triangle and i will find moment of inertia of this triangle about the base okay i will find moment of inertia of this triangle about the base and I will multiply it with 2 because 2 triangles, 2 triangles and both of them are symmetric. So, if I find moment of inertia of this triangle and this triangle and if I multi uh, about the base, about the base and if I multiply with 2, I will get Ixx, okay. So, which means 2 times of I of triangle, okay, of triangle about base. Okay, so what is the formula for base uh, moment of inertia of a base of a triangle B H Q by 12? Okay, so what is B in this case? This is B, okay, and this is H, okay, so which implies 2 times of B H Q by 12. So this is 6 which is b h cube by 6 and what is b in this case listen carefully see i will determine b and h separately then i will substitute it here okay see listen this distance is a this distance is a and it is perpendicular 90 degree because it's a square right so it is perpendicular 90 degree then what will be b this distance from this point to this point that is b so, b square will be equal to a square plus a square, which means b will be equal to root of, I can write it something like a can be taken outside, so root 2a. How I am writing this? It is a triangle, right? It is a right angle triangle. You could see this line, this, this, it is a right angle triangle. So, for right angle triangle by using Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent square plus uh, opposite square and from that I can determine b. And what about h? What about this h? Simple very simple this is again a right angle triangle i will represent it here okay this is this is again a right angle triangle 90 degree this is h this is b by 2 right total is b so this is b by 2 this is a so what will be h h is uh, h is adjacent so h square will be equal to hypotenuse square minus opposite square so that will be equal to a square minus what is b b is root 2 a so root 2 a by a whole square sorry root 2 by 2 a whole square this will get cancelled this will become root 2 so let me write it here so h square is equal to a square minus a square by 2 so that is nothing but a square by 2 so h is equal to a by root 2 Okay, h is equal to a by root 2, b is equal to root 2 a. Now, substitute b is equal to root 2 a and h is equal to a by root 2 in this equation. So, what I will get? b is root 2 a into h is a by root 2 whole cube by 6, right? Hmm. Now, solve this. The problem will be solved and that is it. 
so a by root 2 whole cube so let this be root 2 a into a by 2 power 3 by 2 right or else you can write it as uh, that is root 2 right so 2 power 3 by 2 that is fine by 6 so this is root 2 that I can write it as 2 power 1 by 2 okay and if I bring this 2 power uh, 3 by 2 power 3 by 2 to the numerator or lap and this is a power 3 I'm sorry this is a power 3 so a into a power 3 will be a power 4 denominator it will be 6 and this 2 power 3 by 2 goes to the numerator it will become 2 power 1 minus 2 by 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 is minus 2 by 2 right minus 2 by 2 will become minus 1 so 2 will come to the denominator a power 4 by 6 into 2 power 1 that is nothing but a power 4 by 12 itself the same equation which we got for square okay similarly i y y okay so i y y will also be equal to 2 times of this triangle uh, like 2 times of this triangle's area okay so that will also be equal to a power 4 by 12 okay so that's it